led many astray. I caused many to stumble at your holy word, and I knew better. Lord, I took money from the poor, but, oh, my God, let me out. My soul is in torment. Have not I paid enough for my sin? I will do right now, Lord. I won't take money from the church anymore, and I now repent. I will love all race of people. Jesus said you distorted the holy word of God. You lied about knowing the truth. You knew better, Jesus said. The pleasures of life were more important to you. And I even came to you myself to turn you back unto me, but you would not listen. You went on in your own way, and evil was your God. My friend, you knew the truth, but you would not repent or return unto the Lord your God. I was there all the time waiting on you to truly turn back unto me and stop the sin and the things you were doing. The judgment of God has been set. I wanted you to repent, but you would not. Sadness was all over the faces of Christ as we walked away from the pitiful old soul burning in fire and preaching in hell. We walked on down the pathway, and as we did, my friend, hands reached out to Jesus calling for mercy. With terrible pains in their voices, their bony hands were black and gray from burning. No life, no blood or no flesh, no organs. All was dead and gray and burning. Within myself I was crying, O earth, repent. Repent unto God truly of your sins. Moans and cries and screams of horror were heard in every place. We walked on down the pathways, and I remember thinking, Oh, my God, how horrible to behold these thousands of souls lost in hell. As we walked on, bony hands seemed to reach out to Christ as we walked on through the pits of fire. No life, no blood, no flesh or no organs, all was dead and burning. Within myself I was crying, O people of the earth, repent before you come here. Moans and cries and screams of sorrow was heard in all places. There seemed to be an echo of souls crying out to the Lord Jesus to have mercy upon their souls. We seemed to walk for some time among these pits of fire. And people were crying for mercy uncontrollably. Oh, Jesus, I cried, give me strength to go on. Jesus said, my word is true. Unless people repent of their sins and ask me to come into their hearts and save their souls, my daughter, and truly repent and turn unto me, they will be lost and come to this horrible place. They must recognize their sins and come unto me, for I am faithful and I am just, and I will not cast them away. We stopped at a soul in a pit of fire that was burning, and when they spoke, I knew it was a woman. He turned and looked upon the soul of a woman as she cried out unto the Lord. I felt such pity for all these souls and such sorrow that I could hardly stand. Great sobs shook me. Oh, Jesus, I cried. Oh, how horrible to behold the horrors of hell. This woman stood in a center of flames that covered her whole body, and the flames flickered up around her as she raised her arms to Jesus, crying, Let me out, let me out. Oh, my God, her bones were full of worms and dead flesh, just like the others, as she cried out to Jesus. Jesus said, Woman, you were given chance after chance to repent. You hardened your heart towards God and did as you please. The desires and the pleasures of life were more important to you than God and his laws. Jesus said, Every soul that is in hell had many chances to receive me, my child. Many had heard the gospel over and over, time after time. Every soul that is in hell has heard the gospel at one time or another in this section of hell. Jesus said, People must hear the gospel and repent of their sins and confess to the Father in my name. I have taken the keys of death and hell away from Satan. Come unto me and be saved from this place. All whoremongers will have their part in the lake of fire unless they repent of their sins and come unto me. This woman had sinful affairs with many men and caused many homes to be broken up, yet I loved her still. I would have forgiven her if she had truly returned unto me. I did not come to condemn the world, but through me they may be forgiven and delivered from their sins, for I alone have the power to deliver from sin, Jesus said. 
Many were sent to her to tell her to repent of the, what she was doing and the life she was living, but she would not hear and she would not listen. As a young woman, I called her. Yes, she did many wrongs, and I would have forgiven her if she'd have called upon me. My blood was shed at Calvary that her sins could be washed away, but she would not hear and she would not listen. Dear Lord, I cried as we walked away, leaving the old soul burning in fire. How pitiful to be lost in hell for eternity. Do not people recognize that their soul will live for eternity? People, if Jesus had not been with me, I could not give you this report. The Lord said, Satan does not want the world to know about hell. Satan does not want the truth of this revealed, but it shall be revealed, saith the Lord Jesus. It shall be told unto the world. Nowhere in all my life had I ever imagined hell was like this. We walked on. I said, Jesus, when will this end? Jesus said, My child, only the Father knows when the end shall come. Tenderly, Jesus' voice spoke to me again. Peace be still. Great strength came unto me, and I followed on beside the Lord. I could feel such tenderness, such deep love, pure, undefiled love coming from the Lord. And he said, My child... It is now time to go home. Tomorrow we will return to another part of hell. At home I cried and wept, reliving the horrors of hell. During the day I would pray and I would ask God for divine direction how to tell this unto the world. The next night again the Lord appeared to me and we went back into hell. Again we walked between the flaming pits and we passed many people in the same torments as I have described earlier. And as I share this testimony with you, it is real. It is real, my friend. For far beneath the earth, even now as I'm telling this, there are souls burning in hell fire. They feel the fire, the worms, and the pain, and the hurts. And their cries fill me with much grief. Those souls that we talk to, my friends, are real. They used to be alive upon this earth. And I pray that this testimony of hell touches your heart. I pray that your life is changed as you hear more about hell. We walked on to another pit, and Jesus spoke to a woman that was standing in a pit of fire. He said, While on earth I called and called you to come unto me and get your heart right with God, to forgive others, to be kind and good, and to love the truth and righteousness. I even visited you many times in the midnight hour to tell you of my love and to draw you unto myself by my spirit. You said you would follow me. With your lips, you said you love me, but you did not mean it with your heart. Jesus said, I sent others to tell you time after time to repent of your sins. I wanted to use you to minister to others and help them find me, the living Christ. You wanted the world instead of, of me. And the Lord began to continuously tell her how he had dealt with her, how he had called her, had sent people to prophesy to her, yet she hardened her heart against the Lord. The soul and the shell of this woman was talking to Jesus. Jesus said, O woman, you're still full of lies and sin. Yes, I called you, but you would not hear. Being a church member does not get you to heaven. You must be born again of the Spirit of God to enter heaven. You cannot go to heaven with sin in your life. Your sins were many, and you would not repent. You caused many to stumble at my word. You would not forgive others of what they did to you. You pretended to love and serve me in front of Christians and in church. But away from church, you lied, you cheated, and you stole. You led a fruitless life. You gave heed to seducing spirits and enjoyed your double life. As Christ talked to this soul, I recognized that she had been leading a double life up on the earth. She had lied to her friends. She had never truly given her heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. She was fooling people, but she had not fooled God. Jesus went on to talk to her, and he said, You would not listen to my spirit of compassion. He said, When people were sent your way, you judged the outside and not the inside. You sinned in your heart and would not repent. Many people after receiving me need a deep healing inside, extra love, extra care. Many 